glorify the king. 49. The big deal is, Mr. Bodhi. Stop talking nonsense with what is the big deal. The big deal is the natural resources belong to the Bahamian people. Huh? You know the people is trying to bamboozle me out of my land because of how I stand up for the Bahamian people. I called that show and you told Rudy Grant not to take my call. The Bahamian people didn't even know I was online holding. Huh? You know, you, you know you tell me I, I'm being bamboozled out of my things. I call in the show to try to defend myself on the show and you won't take my call on your show, on the air. So listen. The conspiracy, to def uh, like I said, to continue to defraud the Bahamian people out of all our stuff is in play. He's, there's no patriotic no more. They sold out. And we have been falling down over the years with respect to who we are. And we need to get hold of that. Well, let me tell you now. I know I have dual nationality, right? I know I'm a Nabule and a Bahamian. Uh, I love you. Take care of yourself. Take care. Bye-bye. Nabule. And at the end, end of the day, the at the end, the end of the day, a former prime minister of Italy, no one can take away. No matter how wicked and crooked people might be, take away our universal declaration on human rights. We must not vote yes on the referendum in respect to the constitutional reform. These people are trying to defraud us out of our stuff. How could, Mr. Bodhi, how could a justice of the Supreme Court rule the 31st of May? made an order and refused to give to the person who lost the case the preferred ruling, the preferred order of his, of his ruling and the, his transcript. The 31st of May, Justice Milton Evans, so with the greatest respect to all the justice on, in, in, in the Supreme Court. This justice have violated my constitutional right. Mr. Bodhi, I don't, listen, I don't have time to listen to you, man. You're all a sellout fellas, man, when I, in the, in the way. Because at the end of the day, people have serious issues calling, trying to call, for example, myself, trying to call your show, and you refuse to let me on your air. Okay? So now, your show is a disgrace right now for me and my house. Because guess what? You're supposed to be trying to help everybody, and you're selecting the calls. Period. Next. At the end of the day, by the grace of Almighty God, this effect, the dynamous effect, dynamous reflection, was created in the Bahamas by a high school dropout. Okay? And at the end of the day, I was not dumb and stupid when I was in school, and I grew up in a house that fed the most high God. And we don't forget where we come from when it comes to God. This is a spiritual war we in Bahamas and world. And at the end of the day, I choose the side of righteousness. These wicked politicians then sold us out to all the nations. The Haitians are coming. The drugs are coming. Okay, the foreigners are here. And at the end of the day, that means their money worth being here. Their illegal guns and, and, and drugs are here. And I'm happy to see Ju uh, Magistrate Carlita Battle now a justice of our country. This is woman. This woman sent me to prison for drug dealing before. So at the end of the day, thank God. At the end of this day, I don't believe in those things no more. I'm sorry for those who continue not to tell the church and stop breaking our law. But at the end of the day, I believed in civil disobedience. And at the end of the day, according to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, I have all the right in respect to certain rights and freedoms of the individual. And in my humble opinion, every last one of my universal declaration, you know, protection of my universal declaration of human rights, all have been broken. And y'all broke them because why? Y'all ain't into that no more. Y'all into same-sex marriage. The 1940, 1948 document, human rights document, declaration of human rights, that the world proclaimed, is spiritual, has nothing to do with religion, same-sex marriage. Y'all might have won a battle in America, but y'all did not win a battle in the hearts of those who are righteous. 
but every man at the end of the day have a right to decide his own destiny. And so, to be honest with you, I don't care. God does. That is, this world does not belong to us. The natural resources does not belong to the men, Hubert Alexander Ingram and Perry Glaston Christie, in, and in, in some cases, the father of our nation. But yet, look at his time period and how he grew. But it does not negate the fact who were in charge and how the family was run and the church was run before we, were, we went independent, before there was majority rule, before there was a universal declaration of human rights. And at the end of the day, before the reigning sovereign, Queen Elizabeth Alexandra Mary, who started to reign. And at the end of the day, it's the black bohemian people's sons who are suffering in our country while only a select few of people have been, been, have been magistrates, have been justices uh, over a, a, a nation who they know wicked politics have allowed the bohemian people to go through their educational system through social promotions. It is an absolute disgrace how they have sold out the black bohemian men. It's an absolute disgrace how they have sold out. Well, the black, they sold out the black bohemian men because that goes all the way back to history. And at the end of the day, this is what they're trying to lock down in a jail. But to lock me down in the jail, they have to try to um, 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 bamboozle me, hoodwink, and run amok of me in this nation. Why? Because I stand up for righteousness, number one. That does not uh, support same-sex marriage. It does not support rape, robbing, murder, and all this nonsense. Okay? It does not support major foreign direct invaders uh, coming into your country, bringing in all kind of illegal this and illegal that. The Bahamas borders are wide open. The national debt is absolutely atrocious. Um, and, 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 and in an atrocious state, it's, a dis, it's, it's disgusting. And because I will say this to y'all, this is what you need to hear. My little two little daughters and my little um, Joshua, listen, do not deserve this. And then you're trying to make it look like I do not want to work. No, let's talk with merit. I did my work. You're looking at it. Three years running strong. Now y'all want to send me to jail because it worked a lot of blessings, but I trust the people of the, of the Bahamas who's losing their homes, like Justice Milton Evans moved and ruled in favor of the bank, 370,000 in 45 days. This is now day number, well, it was um, 300, uh, 45 days from the 31st of May, 2013, a rainy, stormy day, four days prior, 11 o'clock, I went to, to, the, same, to, to the same justice on, the, on another matter in regard my wife and I have a, got a divorce. So he heard that case, 11 o'clock. Four days later, he heard the part. He heard the part now of the case with my ex-wife, Tiffany Patricia Roll, and First Caribbean International Bank. Four days later, he heard that case. But he heard that case 9.30 in the morning. An ungodly time when the... According to them, no court reporter was in that court. How could Justice Milton Evans rule at 9.30 in the morning? I reached the court four minutes after 10. I did not know. I did not um, pay attention to the time. So I, I, But they put the case off three different times. So surely they could have given me a little 30, a little break. I came to court. So it does not matter. The plan, Justice Milton Evans didn't even want me to speak on in the case. Uh, zero... 0271 2000 slash 2011 between Tiffany Patricia Roll Miller Ney Roll and her turn. I had to represent myself. It gave, they gave me, they took very long to, to give me the transcript, even though I was asking for the transcript for the 27th within the 14 uh, uh, the, for the transcript for the 27th because I wanted to see what was said because I needed to read it. When I read it, even the, what was reported in uh, from my voice, okay, what was reported from my voice in that court, I said GE Water Processing Technologies, not facilities. I shall put up every document that these people are trying to bamboozle me and trying to make me look like I'm, I'm into some criminal activity. Tell them and their children and their generation go make something like this. You only make things like this and can talk like this and, ha and have things like these in our hands. Huh? When you are of the truth and of the righteous God from heart, that means you ain't no corruption and defrauding people out of what the rightful belong. 
not standing up against the powers that be. This is a black voice. Y'all can't believe y'all hearing this. Well, guess what? Y'all got to live with this because I guess what? Another thing. I want the people who listen to this, as much as I love y'all, if it's your child, your ma, your pa, your grandma, anyone breaking the law out there, please tell them stop. Because guess what? I am not going down for no corrupt, wicked politician in this country who have screwed up our country technically. Okay, when you analyze the Constitution, they haven't even never taught us properly the Constitution. Now, how could you now, and that, that, those, that Constitution have governed this country, have governed our country, okay, for 40 years? Huh? Today is July, um, June, pardon me, June, the, the, the 28th of June, 151 in the morning. 28th of June, 151 in the AM, listening to the replay of the Auckland Bodhi show. I'm not saying you should elect some DNAs or any other party members because... Listen, I am saying the, the persons which need to be elected in our country does not need to be anyone who would have served in government in the last 22 and under Mr. Christie for another three years if the PLP leadership leave him, then the people. But you see, I chose that man only because the, the people elected him justly and fairly from day one from as long as I had the opportunity so Lyndon placed the two but I'm sorry I did I, I listen it does not matter now the truth is out this young man is qualified to enjoy a, to have have been given a chance to work properly in this country I was working minding my own business and y'all target me to destroy me but God raised me up this way General Electric, the Bahamas government, I don't care who these men make magistrates and justices and chief justices. The thing is, I complained when Sir Michael Barnett ran on the f &M ticket and lost. I complained. This is what I complained for. When he lost, I didn't complain because he ran on the ticket and, and lost. I complained because when he, after he lost, he was made a senator and then made a cabinet minister uh, um, to become our attorney general. And I said, because at that time, I was on the PLP side. That's when I used to take sides, not knowing the two of these people are planning my destruction in this nation. But that's fine. And the la they, because of the destruction between the two of these men, Hubert Alexander Ingram and Perry Glasson Christie, those two men have destroyed and crushed our country. Maybe for these words, they're going to try to make me look like a criminal, but they got to take my home first. So how could you, Justice Evans, with the greatest respect, use a justice and the, with the greatest respect to your office, to your family, and to the men and, men and women of this country, the Bahamas, the 242, how could you rule on a man's largest investment without a court reporter being in court an ungodly time you put the man before you the man you're dealing with the man divorce so you separate that you're dealing with the bank the man his wife ex-wife and the bank that's two matters two different separate matters but must be heard the man have land children and was married you separated the divorce you gave the woman the divorce on my son's birthday, 2000, April 10th, 2012. How convenient. The law is finding it convenient on the date of my son, my only son, to give my ex-wife a divorce. It's ungodly. And that's because she's a part of the corruption. I reported her for some serious corruption, and General Electric is trying to cover up the corruption, and the Bahamas government is trying to cover up the corruption. Why? Because Perry Glass and Christie made this young lady mother and father, stalwart counselors, and so they rather bamboozled me out of everything and said, say to me, even I'm gonna, he's gonna lose the case, and and I lost the I lost the case. I did. I asked the, the people, Justice Milton Evans, on the 27th of May 2013 to please give our property over to the, to the young lady because she's qualified by the job, with the job General Electric gave her, okay, that she first got it un, in the name of Aqua Designs. These criminals, uh, Emmanuel Francis and Getty Sonatas, they were the parties out of America that ended up in this company to give me conveniently a whole lot of trouble, so much so that I'm losing my land because when Mr. Ingram was in, the woman left me. She left me in a time when 
the whole nation, many businesses went out of business because of the economy and the policies of the political directorate at the time. This is a fact. Now, I'm not going to lose everything I have and then don't have enough sense to say to the world, I, I have been, all of my human rights have been violated. All of my Bahamian constitutional rights have been violated by these men. And see, when I say I, I, it's all I, I, I. But you see, they have to do this to me so they can get away with what they have done to us as a nation. This is the truth, Mr. Bodie. You're going to represent this. I don't buy numbers. What do you mean you don't buy numbers? You don't get catch buying numbers. Nonsense. Okay, period. Get off my radio, man. Off my good cut. cut. He got, what do you, you mean you don't buy numbers? People got you on tape buying numbers. What is this nonsense you perpetrating on the airwaves? Huh? Listen. Now, Mr. Wendell Jones, with the greatest respect, sir. You see, you asked, how will I get my message out? The world have allowed me to do it if I'm prepared to do it for free. But you see, I am doing this for free. But what is it costing me? Starvation. So as you watch this, I hope when I add also to this, my account number at the Bank of the Bahamas, a brand new bank because I owe, I had to, this account for this company, I had to go through the Bank of the Bahamas. And, okay? And so those who are able, please support Ya Creations, Images and Designs Limited, so we can continue to bring to the people the truth. They're doing everything in their power to make me look like a criminal. Yet, things like this is what makes them a shame. And things like confession, like what happened to me as a child, what I allowed to happen to me as a young man when I was 16, when I was molested by a male. They can't stand me repeating that. They can't. They can't. But I repeat it with the great respect to God most high. And the truth of the matter is, I wish I never have to say it again. But you know what? If it means telling the truth and letting the people know what it's about. It's simply these religious people who have to file their uh, religious office, who are listening to their boss now. The political corruption. The policies of this country in respect to free FDI is absolutely not a godly uh, uh, um, in my humble opinion, where the Bahamas uh, individual Bahamian gain. These people getting appointment after appointment for 40 years, some of them. Okay? Whatever government change, they, sh they appointment short. Just go with the flow. You young man, you know why that happened? Because y'all would not leave people things alone. Now, the truth of the matter is, whatever is discarded in the garbage, you call that recycle. I want the world to look and take a good look. Re what recycle, the mind of a recycler can do. So I thank Mr. Obama. I understand he's doing more for, to, to, for, in respect to global warming. You need to do more, sir, because this represents cooling down our planet. And if anything continues to be taken away from me, then the people in the Bahamas, how many homes... Are uh, there around the planet that says to the world tonight, good night, and you they flick off a switch? How many people are watching computers today, tele uh, everything, okay? And then, and at the end of the day, they're paying their bills. You see, light bill is higher. The light bill is caught is higher than the mortgage. In fact, many people got into problems from these mortgages because they built beautiful homes. And at the time, the light bill was bearable. And after they didn't build these homes, within a certain period of time, these light bills start to climb and people knew through, through ownership of foreign companies doing it to us in the name of these politicians who had given it them the power. And that's simply because the majority and the majority of the young people, the young male, are, were allowed and are allowed to go through the social promotions. So they're not under with the pressure being bearing. It's so difficult for some young men to stay focused. Well, I thank God at the end of the day, I am focused. And I'm focused for the next generation because the next generation depends on how focused I am. Okay? So at the end of the day, I like to, I like to say, they stuck from me everything. But at the end of the day, God gave me it all back. 
You see? They give honors to people who claim to be Bahamian. But at the end of the day, we don't know these people. We don't. You see? The natural resources of our country could help the Bahamian brothers and sisters, boys and girls in this country. It is absolutely wrong for the Bahamian people to continue to allow politicians to dictate to us when they get in our office what we're going to have and what we're not going to have in, res to, in respect relative to our natural resources. It's not their own. Now, who is going to say that's the truth? Okay, who's going to stand up? Who? It's going to stand up. If I don't speak the truth for my own children, who's going to speak the truth for them? These are my two little daughters. Okay? I thank God for my little children. So, crookedness and wickedness, y'all took nothing from me. And y'all are ashamed because I'm not ashamed to expose y'all. These are my beautiful little daughters. To your left, this is my little Soma, and that's her little Amaya, her little sister, Amaya. These are my little two little goddesses, and that's what I call them. Goddesses. 